Here with Wien College synchronized swimming head coach Rebecca Ercoli previewing the ECAC championships. Coach, it's been a little while since Wien has hosted the ECACs. Just give me your overall thoughts and, you know, excitement about hosting the event this weekend. Well, this is a great meet because it's actually the last meet that we have right before our national competition. So it's a really awesome opportunity for our athletes to get in front of the judges, really work on their performance aspect. Um, we've been doing a lot of cleaning up and polishing of their routines. So hopefully we'll actually see certain parts that have been a bit more polished. Those will shine. Um, hopefully they're more synchronized um, at this meet. Um, is that something that we've been working on and, and better pattern uh, changes? So it should actually be a little bit more interactive for the fans while they're watching. Um, and obviously hosting it makes it nice because we're on our home turf, we're in the pool that we get to practice in every day. So there's something that's familiar about that um, and a certain amount of confidence that goes with it. And we get a great fan base, so it's always nice to have a nice, loud, cheering crowd. Coach, can you just touch a little bit more upon or elaborate on the aspect of polishing up the routines? What do you do from a coaching standpoint to kind of break down each segment of the routines? So the way we usually work it is um, the athletes will always do swim throughs. So they'll swim through the entire four minutes of their choreographed routine. Uh, and then usually I'll actually just start breaking it down, which part looked the roughest. We take that one aside. We actually just do it count by count. So um, sometimes you'll see somebody tapping on the side of the pool um, or counting in the microphone. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Coaches are very good at counting to eight. Um, and just the same movement over and over again. The idea is that um, eventually your body will become more automatic and that move will feel very familiar to you and you can start focusing less on what count you're supposed to be moving on and more um, on the technique to actually do it quickly and high. Coach, can you just talk about what teams will be in the pool this weekend besides Wheaton? Absolutely, there's gonna be some awesome competition this weekend. So we have BU that's coming back um, and they have a wonderful, fun team. Uh, we have UPenn. Uh, which actually has a huge team, so we're excited to see they have two teams that are going to be swimming, So, um, and they always have really great themes for their routines. Uh, we also have Smith um, that's coming back, and then us. Coach, last question for you. Just talk about how this meet helps prepare you for nationals. Well, so again, uh, like I said earlier, uh, the biggest part is getting in front of judges, trying to make that eye contact. Um, you know, one of the most fun parts about synchronized swimming is performing. Um, so if you're not performing pretty regularly, then it's a skill that, that you just won't have. Um, so that's probably the biggest part about this, getting in front of the judges, also getting feedback from those judges. Um, if there's something that I love to do, it's to find out what the judges thought of our routines, if there are choreography things that we need to change and make a little bit um, harder or even easier for that matter, um, and making sure that the athletes are really connecting with those judges. All right, thanks, Coach, and good luck this weekend. We'll catch up with you before Nationals. Thank you.